The Colossus, the big hulking brute of a powerhouse. Is this the javelin for you? Find out today on the road to Anthem. Welcome everybody. Today we're talking about the Colossus, the beast powerhouse. It is the slowest of the four javelins, but as a trade-off, it also can withstand the most amount of punishment. Not only is, can it be specced for up close and personal in your face punchy action, but it can also be specced for massive heavy artillery. Think of it like a siege tower, raining down destruction from afar using its mortars. Now, this javelin is semi-unique for two reasons. Number one, it is based upon the Javelin of Dawn, which was the original javelin built by Arden Vasa, used by Helena Tarsus back during the Legion of Dawn days some 500 years ago. The second thing that makes it unique is the fact that it is the only javelin that can wield heavy weapons and heavy artillery. Now, as a trade-off to this, they cannot wield small weapons like the pistols and the submachine guns. But really, let's let's face it, I can use a freaking mortar and a railgun. What the hell do I need a pistol for? Just saying. Moving on to the Colossus's build, you've got your melee, which is a ground pound heavy smash. The gear slot, you have the ordnance launcher. You have the Heavy Assault Launcher, and you have the Support Slot. And then, of course, they have their ultimate, the Siege Cannon. Moving right along to Melee, you got the Heavy Smash, or Ground Pound. Very, very reminiscent of Mass Effect's Vanguard with their Nova ability, which is awesome. Now, what's cool about this ability is not only will it knock enemies away, clear paths, etc. It can also be used to knock down larger enemies or stagger them, if you will, which seems to be perfect for opening them up for comboing either from yourself or from your teammates. Now, also keep in mind, when you're up close and personal in the thick of it, you, the Colossus can also deploy a shield, which can absorb X amount of damage before it times out and then gets returned. All right, your gear slots. You've got the Ordnance Launcher. Under this category, you have the High Explosive Mortar, the Burst Mortar, the Firewall Mortar, the Lightning Coil, and the Shock Coil. The High Explosive Mortar is exactly that. It's an explosive projectile that slams into the ground, deals AOE damage. The burst mortar is similar, but instead it fires a volley of smaller mortars that spread out over across a wider area. You have the firewall mortar, which creates a wall of fire, dealing dot damage to any enemy that goes through it. Also is used for effectively closing off, like a, creating a bottleneck situation, which is great for crowd control. The lightning coil is a single target arc electricity that prioritizes targets with status effects. So that's ideal for detonating combo effects. The shock coil emits a wave that damages all enemies nearby the Colossus. Next up, you have your heavy assault launcher. These are heavy cannon, flamethrower, flak cannon, railgun, an acid spitter. The heavy cannon, we've seen many times in the, the trailers and videos, it fires a single large rocket directionally towards the enemy of your choice. Flamethrower, that's pretty self-explanatory, fires fire, sets things on fire, which creates dot damage. Good, also probably good for crowd control up close and personal. Your flat cannon is a short range arc projectile. The railgun, standard a pretty, you know, anyone's familiar with a railgun who's played just about any game that has them, it fires kinetic rounds and can usually do insane damage very quickly against a single target or a few targets clustered together. Then you have your acid spitter, which is an acid projectile that creates 
damage over time. Rounding off the gear slots, you have your support gear, which for the Colossus is Taunt or Deflector Pulse. Taunt generates aggro on the enemies around you and directs them to attack you. Just like any normal uh, RPG most people have played, you can use this in games like Dragon Age, for example, if we're talking about other Bioware games, a lot of M um, just about every MMO uses it. The Threat Index, which is great for tanking. Um, if you've got people in your group, like the Interceptor or the Storm, that are a little light on the defense, Taunt would be great to keep the aggro on the Colossus while they deal out damage. You don't have to worry about taking damage. And then the Deflector Pulse is a damage resistance buff for all allies nearby. So, damage shield. Last, but certainly not least, you've got the Colossus's ultimate, which is the Siege Cannon. The Colossus will deploy a massive cannon to dish out a ton of damage. This has actually been referred to as a, quote, mini nuke by several of the devs. Then they laughed about it shortly afterwards, so uh, that should be interesting. Okay, so when you pop your ultimate, it brings a ring up, which has three quadrants. We have been told that if you time this just right, and I'm sure it could be situational too, whether or not the mobs sit still or run around like crazy people, you can fire one to three shots within that time window to maximize the damage and be as effective as possible. So the Colossus is your typical in your face, rush in, slam the ground, very vanguard, tank type class, but can also be spec to be a powerhouse of damage, like a siege tower. Just standing back and raining destruction down with their mortars and rockets, etc. That's it for this video, guys. Video 2 on my Javelin Exploration. Coming up next is Interceptor. Got that coming out real soon, followed by Storm. Uh, if you liked my video, please feel free to like and then click that little bell so you know when my new videos come out. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again on the road to Anthem.